Hi, hey, welcome, 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 welcome. Let's do my little Cancerians. Let's do my little Cancerians. So, this is going to be December 2nd through the 15th. Or like the 16th, because yesterday was the 1st of the 15th. <laughs> so, 2019 cancer so what i'm gonna do is throw your energy first okay and then i'm gonna do a brief a brief read on exterior energy but remember it can be vice versa okay so cancer 2000 december 2nd through the 16th 2019 And I think to myself, what a beautiful world. That song's coming through for you guys. Wow, this is bizarre. They usually fly out. <clears throat> you got the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Or this is saying hope, stay positive. Could be in the public eye. This is a blessing. It could be a wish. It could be healing. We'll have to see what else comes through. Queen of Wands, determination. Five of Pens, poverty. That is like poverty. <clears throat> it, that is like <clears throat> you got judgment and the King of Wands. This card is always disturbing to me because it's just like you're in a situation that is just no good. It's it's like the Death card. It's like the Tower. It's like screaming toxic. You know what I mean? Like I don't know if you just feel like you, you can't find a way out of something, but it's like basically it's like don't give up hope stay determined don't worry about this which would be hard not to okay and then judgment there is an opportunity coming to get you out of this situation and it's a leadership position <clears throat> for some of you well this is you taking taking the lead being brave Got that at the bottom of the deck, and you got the magician. Okay, so <clears throat> cancer, cancer. Queen of Wands is very intuitive. <clears throat> it's almost like I don't know if you thought there was an opportunity and then it's like it didn't pan out because like look at the de de deception the deception the de uh, depiction you know it's like you're looking up at the universe like what the fuck like you put me in a toxic situ situation I it's like I always have to read this card as as toxic like to me it's not lonely like that it's you know what I mean it's like what the frig and it's like you're looking up at the universe and you're literally like, what the frig? Like, and then you got the opportunity here. Like, the opportunity was here, but it's almost like this is a leadership role, but it's, it's almost like maybe the King of Wands didn't take an opportunity. Let's just read more into it and see what we get. But to me, this is basically saying, for some of you, don't give up hope. Stay determined. You know, you probably got yourself out of that situation. You're feeling a little lonely, but there's other opportunities. There's other positions. There's other people in the world. You know, it's, it's that type of energy. Cancer, tell me about the stuff. And it's like, what what was that song? And I think to myself, what a beautiful world. It's a, that makes a lot of sense right now. Because it's, to me, so that screaming, do not give up hope. Cancer star. Tell me about the star. And for those who don't know, this deck of cards that I have out, there's no men. It's all women. All right, there you are, right in your element, Queen of Cups. Okay, that's you guys in Aquarian energy right now. Cancerians are in the energy of Sag and Cancer. In Aquarius, there's definitely something happened with someone. Tell me about the Queen of Queen of Wands. 
yeah, see, something didn't go as planned. I don't know. Like, it's like you're looking at the universe and saying, why on earth did you have me invest in a situation where there was no, there was nothing solid? Because unless you invested money somewhere and it didn't work out, but I don't, I don't see it like that because I just spoke about a relationship. You know what I mean? Like, you're in your element. You're good. But something it is like you went off your intuition and it didn't work out. And that's not a, a, a bad thing, guys, for whoever did that. You have very in, intuitive signs, Zodiac, too. You know who you are, you know. But it's like you're legitimately looking at the universe, literally saying to yourself, like, what? the frig you could be in Scorpio energy this just reminds me a lot of the dark night of the soul but that's literally like <laughs> like the opportunity was given but someone didn't play that leadership role hang in there don't don't give up hope is what the universe is saying stay determined now, if this has to do with a lover or a certain situation, it's not saying to chase after that person by any means and, and, and don't give up and blah, blah, blah. It, just rem remain who you are. It's okay. It's going to work out. You, you invested time. Everything here is telling me you did something right. Something will pan out is what I'm being told. Whether it's this person or someone else, maybe you needed to go through this person to see something to get you where you need to be. Tell me about judgment. So now it's like, I don't know if you're passing judgment on an Aries or if it's just like, this is linked to past life. Tell me about justice. I mean, judgment. Like it was supposed to be my prince. But look at the wings, look at the butterfly. Like you've grown from this situation. I don't really think you're looking at anything as like a loss or sorrow or heartache. I mean, obviously, if there's a loss of something, someone, right? But it's more like you're looking at the universe, like what the actual fuck. Tell me about judgment. <clears throat> so really consider where you want to spend your time and your efforts and your thoughts right now, too. It's like, don't create your own prophecies with with something, with thoughts. Yeah, see, judgment. It's like something was supposed to get resurrected, but it ended before it could even get resurrected. Wow. It looks like you put an end to something. It just wasn't good for you. There's no forgiveness, no second chances. I mean, there could be in, in the future, but judgment is about forgiveness and second chances. With the world right here, it's like my cancers are like, nope. Yeah, I so see you got the Queen of Pence reverse. It, it's like not talking, not nothing. It's... Looks like there was a third party what was being shown under my deck, but I'm not positive. Tell me about the King of Wands. For some of you, this might be work. I'll dig into that. Not too many of you, but some of you for sure. Tell me about the King of Wands. So it looks like Cancer's ended it with a King of Wands energy. Something just didn't work out or something's not working out. That's way too many. King of Wands, please. You got the lovers reverse, so it's like mm -hmm. 
It's like this energy in the next two weeks makes some type of decision. So something ended, but in the next two weeks, this person is going to make a decision on whether or not to end something, restart something, because judgment's here. It almost got pulled to the past again. That happened in my Scorpio read. If anyone's going through like a hard time right now, um, let me see what's going on. If anyone's going through like a hard time right now, it's not going to the soul, you just can't figure out something, it, major, chances are you're probably absorbing the propensity of a Scorpio, but within your own chart. So this is something that's just kind of like, I don't know, before they didn't make a decision. Because here it's, it's clear my cancer, some things didn't go in the right direction and, and there was an end to something. And it looks like it was probably this. Maybe this person at one point didn't make a decision or they did make a decision. And it is still over. Tell me about the world. But I feel like over here is more in the next two weeks. That's just it. It's like they have me reading on like almost like your your current past versus the the following two weeks, which is crazy. So it's like even though you ended something, you're still feeling restricted. Like, what's that about? Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Stop questioning why something went down, please. Okay. So, yeah, it's, you're chalking it up to a loss. You're not, you're trying not to let anything get the best of you. Tell me about the lovers. Ooh, look at this card right here. It belongs in the other deck, but it was an eight. So the love is a tool pen to reverse. This is somebody who doesn't want to juggle. Or they didn't want to juggle. I could have sworn that just came up in the Scorpio read. I'm not positive. Once I leave a read, I usually try to leave the read. But I'm here in Scorpio, and that's not a kind of Scorpio. Okay, so... This could be the other person's energy, but Scorpio, please, because this could be vice versa, right? Blessings. So this star, uh, there is blessings coming to you. Energy is going to stop moving for you. You guys might be seeing 44 too. But um, this is also blessings as spiritual. Like something is divinely protected here. It's like the universe right now is saying to yourself, they really want you to consider exactly what you want at this time. The universe is conspiring to help you achieve aspirations. See what I'm saying? Like that's why you're looking at the universe, like what the actual F is happening here. Since the universe is in harmony with your desires, Okay, certain stuff will transpire effortlessly. That's why I said be careful you don't create your own self-prophecies. Okay, there is going to be blessings. It's going to be luck. There's going to be new prospects. Which, see, I, I saw something here. Something could be restored. But be very clear about your intentions at this time. All right, because Ganesha is here to help you clear the obstacles and give you certain blessings. This period will not last forever, so be sure you take advantage of it. And when the opportunity arises, resolve it with triumph. Okay. The principle of average works into your favor now. The manifestations are possible in their endless love, money, success, happiness, trust, happiness, blessings. Trust that they're coming. Okay. True happiness and blessings are within you, your heart and your soul. 
So this is extremely positive. And, and I'm telling you, it's crazy because this was what makes so sense, so much sense to me. Why It's literally like I could tell this was happening. Where it's like you're looking at the universe and like, what the actual fuck is happening? Okay, so this is, there's blessing. Something's divinely protected. And you already know that. Okay? So if you're unaware of that, this would be the other person's energy. For those who are aware of something being divinely protected and, and like it was supposed to, but it didn't work out. Someone had to leave a situation. Everything is exactly the way it was supposed to go. So if it's if it has to do with a person and it's not going down the way you thought, somebody else will step in. The right person. Or this person will come back however it works out. But it looks like within the next couple of weeks this masculine energy doesn't want to see I don't see I don't know that though because it's bringing me to the past again even though this should be this is what should be current so real quick I just want to pull on this energy in the next two weeks with the king of wands next two weeks king of wands one card The magician. Okay, so they want something new. They want to create something new. All right. <clears throat> so that's good. So let's read the other person's energy. Which would either be the king of wands or the cancer. However, like I said, this is vice versa. But if you ask me, this is definitely cancer. You're writing your own first card out, writing your own element. Okay, so the other energy is in the energy of having to make a decision. Which we see here within the next two weeks, they do. Lucy, enough! I don't know what's up with this energy. Queen of Swords reversed. So it's almost like they have to deal with the Queen of Swords energy. It's like, but they're not even talking to this energy looks like there could be a marriage here these are two court cards they need to make a decision about a marriage a, a boyfriend girlfriend a situation something needs to be cleared out the wheel so it looks like something could go in their direction it's also karma clearing up karma it's upright it's it's luck it's wishes it's also destined, okay, and they're getting themselves out of a situation too. It looks like there's some type of soulmate. When the Six of Cups is reversed, it's, it's walking back to the past or it's desire someone, okay? So I hope that helps you guys out and just do your best to stay, stay positive because that's a big message for you. Go back and listen to this. That is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. Okay, I saw it <laughs> clear as day. Like, look at it again. You know what I mean? Um, so, yes. What noise? Yeah, I heard that too. I don't know. I think there might be turkeys in the backyard. There's turkeys in the front yard. Okay. They so, right okay. Into the window right now. Oh, all right. Take Lucy away. No. So, you got the star, queen of wands, five of pence, judgment. You can tell. Like, I don't think you're losing hope. This is blessing. Stay determined, okay? But you're literally looking up at the universe. You're like, what the frig? Like, I was guided. You had, you know, I I chose to invest time into this because of X, Y, Z, right? Whether it's work, job, lover, however, right? There was supposed to be an opportunity. It's like either someone didn't take action. Whatever went down what is what went down, Right? Yes, I'm running out. Jesus, I'm doing it right now before you drive me eight shit. Come on. Go ahead. So, just stay positive. Because at this point, you're, you're just like... <clears throat> you did the right thing, though. Because if this was your freaking energy, you did the right thing. So don't doubt that. Everything happens the way it's supposed to happen. All right, so this was a general. Even with my generals, I tend to reach a lot of you, but 
People are still emailing me, asking me if I'm doing readings. I am not doing phone readings, but I'm still doing private videos, okay? So there is a link below. There's three different pay options, um, but they're all the same exact read. The pay options are, are there for you guys, okay? Make it a little easier for some of you. So, I love you guys. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye, guys.